guys. Good morning, Mr. Bronson. My name is Scout. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I have you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Okay, Kenneth Bronson, 10 5, check, check. Okay, so it seems as though your doctor has ordered you an MG tube. Um, do you know what that is? Okay, I'll explain that in a little bit, but you have um, a small bowel obstruction, which has been causing you your nausea and vomiting for the last few days. So we're going to be placing a tube from your nose to your stomach, and it's going to hopefully alleviate um, some of that pressure that you're feeling and hopefully um, get rid of some of that nausea and vomiting. Is that okay with you? Okay. So I'm going to ask you a few questions, if that's okay, just to make sure um, that we can give you the tube. Have you ever had any sort of facial trauma or uh, skeletal fractures? Have you ever had a deviated septum? No. Um, do you know if you've ever had any problems with like allergies or any chronic nosebleeds? Okay. Now I'm going to listen to your bowels really quick. If that's okay. So it sounds kind of quiet, but that's what we'd expect because you have your bowel obstruction. Um, do you know the last date of your, do you know the date of your last bowel movement? Do you know the last time that you passed gas? Um, are you feeling nausea or do you feel like you need to vomit right now? Okay, and are you very, are you feeling like you're really hungry? Okay, well we have had you on MPO for the last few days. Okay, so if you don't have any further questions, um, I will go ahead and get your stuff ready. And I believe your call light is on your other side. And I lower the bed. I wash my hands, leave the room, and I walk in to provide privacy. Wash my hands again. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bronson. Um, can I have you state your name and date of birth for me just to check again? Kenneth Bronson, 105XX. Okay. So I have all your supplies. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and check your nose really quick. Actually, I'm going to put my gloves on. So I'm going to be touching your face. Okay, so I'm going to be checking your nose, making sure it's still okay to give you the MG tube. Okay, it looks like it's okay on the outside. I'm going to make you sit up. Okay, I'm going to press on your nostrils and I'll need you to blow out. Okay, good. Can you do the other one? Okay, good. So it seems as though your um, nostrils are all clear, so I can in fact give you the NG tube if that's okay. Um, and I'm going to be using your right nostril. Okay. So this would be in the container, and I would open it. Um, and so I have a 16 French. I'm going to get my... There we go. Get plenty of lube. I'm going to go ahead and place this on your chest just to make sure if anything comes up, I don't want it on you. So I'm going to take my tube. And I'm going to measure from the tip of your nose to your ear and then down to your xiphoid process. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark that with my first piece of tape. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this all taped up. So I'll try and make this as um, painless as possible. It's just going to feel a little uncomfortable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this in four inches, and then you're going to might you might need to cough, you might uh, feel like you need to gag a little bit, and then I'll pull it out an inch. You can um, catch your breath, and then you can go ahead and tell me when you um, when I can further put the NG tube in, and then I'll tilt you forward, and I'll have someone hold a glass of water, and then you'll every time you'll sip, I'll insert it further. Okay. 
go on your head, tilt it back, and go in like four inches. Cross, pull out an inch. You ready? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. As you take sips of water, because someone would be helping me, keep breathing. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take my next piece of tape. Make sure not to wax your eyebrow. I'm going to go ahead and place this temporarily. And then I'm going to check to make sure we're in the right spot. So I'm going to take this. Okay, it's green. Looks good. But I'm going to check the pH just to be sure, Mr. Bronson. Just tell me if you need anything. So I put this out here. Check the pH. Looks like it's just about five, which is perfect. So we're in the stomach. That's good. Okay. And so I'm going to replace this tape because I'm in the right spot. So you got a hair in your face, Mr. Bronson. And be very careful not to cause too much irritation. Okay, I'm going to place this piece of tape on top. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one around this way. Wrap this one around the other way. And now that NG tube is not going anywhere. Okay, and now I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to go ahead and wipe your nose. Don't want that. I'm going to take this last piece. Let me find my safety pin. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and secure this to your gown. Don't want that going anywhere. You still feeling okay, Mr. Bronson? So now I'm going to hook you up to suction. This is what's going to be pulling, um, so I'd wash my hands. This is what's going to be pulling um, the fluid out of your um, tube. Here, let me just go ahead and pin this to your other side. Because the suction is over here. Still feeling okay? Okay, so I'm going to turn this on. It's going to get a little loud. Make sure to set it between 60 and 75, and I would then, so it's on 60 and 75, I would turn it on intermittent, and I would unhook this, and hook it up, and then that means it's going to be suctioning every 8 seconds, and then you'll see your um, gastric juices going up into it, and hopefully that will alleviate some of your symptoms, but if you need anything, your call light is right here, I'm going to go ahead and lower your bed wash my hands. If you need anything, just press your call light and um, I'll be right in, Mr. Bronson.